Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Most 11 Back with you, bringing dark into light. You guys, I apologize. My phone um, shut off after that truck flew by. Okay, about the mess. I had the message about this person throwing their whole life away for the karmic, and this truck went by. It was all dusty, and then all of a sudden, something like a phone call was coming through, and it shut my phone off. Okay, I don't. This iPhone, I love my iPhone, but I hate that because. It just like shut off. So something about that could be a message too. Is like this person needs to cut this person off. This person needs to shut this person out of their life. Okay. So go watch the first video. It's only a couple minutes. Um, it's in regards to uh, this individual is throwing their whole life away. Spirit has been trying to show this person signs. They've been ignoring the signs, ignoring the messages, um, ignoring the red flags. And this individual, this karmic that's throwing this person away is continuing to use this person. Okay. What I left off, I think I left off was um, this person may end up having another family or another relationship or like another lover. And this person, th this individual that's thrown their life away may know about this person and is just like ignoring it and thinking that this individual may leave them for them. But what I'm hearing is this person, this, this karmic is not going to leave their lover or their, their wife, husband, whatever for this individual. Okay. This individual, this person is literally, literally using this person. <laughs> And is giving this person, like taking advantage of this person and allowing this person to think there's going to be something when there's not going to be something. Okay. There's going to be nothing between these two, this karmic and this individual I'm talking about. Okay. What I'm hearing too is both, both people could possibly be karmics. That's just throwing their life away, ignoring red signs, you know, not listening to God. They both could be karmic. Okay. So if you're watching this, this could be somebody that you know, a friend, family member. Okay. This could also be you. Okay. So. Again, stop ignoring the red flags because this individual is throwing their whole life away. Everything that they had in their life, everything that they worked hard for, it's, it's going down the drain, okay? And when the dust went by, something about dust. Somebody's not seeing something because that's why, too, I had, to like put my, I had to turn around because I could not see something. It was so dusty. And this individual is not seeing clearly, okay? They're not seeing clearly. They're ignoring it. They're, it's like lust, okay? There, there could be some kind of obsession as well in this situation, it also, if you go back, um, I'm going to repeat this again. Somebody took a student loan out. They could be at school or going back to school, took a student loan out, or they were good. They were talking about going back to school, but they only took the student loan out to spend the money. Okay. Spend the money. They're going to have to pay that money back. But this individual, this karmic literally is taking advantage of this person and just wants, I am her sugar mama, sugar daddy. Okay, but this person thinks that they're they're in a relationship with this person or they think that they're going to be there's going to be something in the future. If this person doesn't know this individual has another family or another relationship, they're stupid. I'm sorry to say but they're stupid being dumb. Because I heard that somebody has another person and they're not gonna leave their wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever for this person. And I'm hearing if I'm also hearing if this karmic does have a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Their husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend knows about this other person because they're, I'm hearing what they're, they're allowing this person to take advantage of this other person because of the fact that they don't have to pay for it. So the, it could be kind of an open relationship. If not an open relationship, it's more as, hmm, this person's taking care of them. There's money coming in. I, I got it easy. I don't have to work. I'm hearing something about not working or if they're working, they have really, really high standards or, um, living on living on being uh living on beyond means so buying things that they don't need to buy but this 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 person that is wasting their way to their life throwing away their life is literally digging themselves a deeper hole causing more karma in their life they're gonna have to repeat more cycles Okay, what I heard is this person could be losing their family or children. Like, I'm, I'm hearing, like, I'm hearing a, a teenage child or a young adult or even a parent saying, you're choosing this karmic over your own children. You're choosing this karmic over your own family. Like, get your priorities straight. You have responsibilities. You're an adult. Many people could have told this person that this individual is a karmic and they're using them. And this person's just ignoring it. They're like, no, 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 no. They're not using me. They do care about me. I know they care about me. Look at, we're together. We're together all the time. He, he's with me. She's with me. You know, and that's what I'm hearing is like this, this individual is living in La La Land, fantasy world, thinking that this person really cares about them, really wants to be with them. But they don't. It, 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 it's, uh, 
a using relationship. It's a fake relationship. It's fake. It's not going to go nowhere. Yeah, because it was like the message, like I said, somebody's going to be losing everything because of it. Because they're throwing away this, their life. Could be losing home, job. Because they're choosing this. And like, it's coming out again. So there's at least a few of you guys in this clip that's dealing with this. If it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. And you could be the one that's been telling this person. Because remember, take what resonates, leave what does not fit. Bits and pieces may be for you, bits and pieces will be for somebody else. People are guided to this channel. They could be cross watchers. Okay? They could be watching it for their friends, family, ex lovers. Okay, so again, you could be watching this because you've already been telling this person. So I keep hearing, somebody keeps telling this person, it's not going anywhere. This person's using you. You're their side chick or side guy, the sugar mom, the sugar daddy. And you're giving in to them. And that's why. It's all brainwashing. I'm hearing that could be like a little bit of feelings, but not like feelings that's gonna settle down that love this person it's gonna get you know walk away from their family or their other relationship it's more of feelings like oh yeah this person's being nice to me this person's doing this stuff for me i gotta be kind to them i gotta allow them to think that it, um I, I i like them i'm in love with them i want a relationship with them so it's more like you know playing mind games this person's totally leading on this person this individual Causing more karmic cycles. You know, when, and I can say this too, because I had people, so many people tell me with my ex husband Luis, so many times, you know, he's cheating on me, he's doing this. Deep down, I knew he was cheating on me. I knew he was cheating on me. I knew he was doing the things he was doing. And my friends and my family were telling me, I just didn't want to listen to them. I didn't want them to be right. I didn't want to leave him because I had a share a child with him and I didn't want Carmelita to, you know, grow up without him father or mother together. So like, I just kind of played it off and ignored it and be like played off stupid, even though I knew that he was out sleeping with other girls and then he was hitting on my friends. And then he was spending money on cocaine and drinking all the time and weed and food for other people. Not coming home until five o'clock in the morning on Saturday or Sunday or other days, disappearing. And I was, I, I knew deep down but I didn't want to admit it, okay? I didn't want to, I was in denial. And that's what I'm talking, what I'm hearing about this individual. This person's in pure denial. See, this truck's being nice. This truck's being nice. If you watch other video, the other truck was flying by. This truck's being nice so I don't get the gravel on me. That's a nice person. Look, to make sure I don't get no gravel. That's a respectful person. The last reading, they just fucking flew right by. They didn't give a shit when they know it's 30. See, they're picking up, they know it's 30. That guy's not even going more than 30. They're probably going like 10 miles per hour be next to me. So this person's in pure denial. Avoiding. And the reason I'm hearing too with this individual is giving to this karmic is because this, this karmic is giving attention to this person. Even though it's not real authentic attention, it's it's karmic attention and this person getting some kind of attention attention or some kind of affection some kind of lust like there could be sex I, there is sex i'm hearing involved too you know and so this person it, it could be codependency too they don't want to be alone okay well i'm gonna give this person money i'm gonna buy this person a truck i'm gonna buy this person a car or a bike i'm gonna buy this person weed i'm gonna buy this person all this shit but so they don't leave me so i have somebody to hang out with so i have somebody but the whole entire time, the only reason they're around you is because you're giving them stuff. If you didn't give them this stuff, they wouldn't even be around you. They treat, I'm hearing treat, because they, they would treat you like shit. I'm getting two. I mean, one person does treat you like shit and another person doesn't treat this person like shit. They're actually kind. But yeah, I lived in denial for freaking nine years, you guys. Well, about seven. About seven. Denial. I want, well, I was in denial. I was just didn't want to admit to it to other people. I knew. I knew the whole time that what he was doing. And I feel like this person possibly knows too. Again, they just know that if they say something, and I'm hearing if they say, I'm not going to buy you this stuff anymore. I'm not going to do this for you anymore. I'm not going to give you rides. I'm not going to, you know, pay your bills. Cause I'm hearing something about paying bills. Then they, if they stop doing it, this person walks away. They move on to the next. 
That's codependency. That's someone that doesn't love themselves. And so that, that's what's going on here. These two people don't love themselves. Because truly, if you love yourself, you love thyself, you don't need anybody. You don't need anybody like that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need to buy stuff for somebody else. You don't need somebody to be around. Like, you don't need that. It's it, it's loving. It's, it, it's nice to have a companion that truly care about you, that's truly there for you, that wants to spend quality time with you. See, they went slow too. But if this person's just around because you're giving them all this stuff or because they codependency, they don't want to be alone. Someone may travel for like their job. This karmic may travel like a job or like leave. And like, so when they come back to this person, that's when like everything's same or another partner could be like living out of state or out of country, having somebody overseas. And so they need a side one here. I'm getting like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be anything, but I worked with Somalian girls before. And these small girls tell me that um, that their husband would be here and they would have them as a wife and then they'd have like five wives back in Somalia, okay? Or they would be here and their husband's over in Somalia with other women and they're sending money to their family, okay? Look at that. Like, I don't understand why any Somalian woman or any woman would want, would want to be with another man and pay all the bills and work all the time for another man in their family, another woman. Like, why would you want to do that? That you, there, There's no love there. Like, it's like, why? I don't get it. But I'm not that person either. So yeah, I just remember them telling me that all the time. They're like, oh yeah, I'm working all this money. I'm working here and stuff because I got to send money back over to my country because my husband's over there and he has his other wives and his other family over there and his kids and I got to um, support them. And then like, so you're working all this money, you're getting paid by the government, but then you're sending money over there as well. Like, come on, love yourself more than that. Like you deserve to be with just one person. You deserve to be loved and have a companion. But that's when there's not true love. Like you're not loving yourself. And that's the thing is when I was with my ex-husband, Luis, I didn't love myself. I hated myself, you guys. I literally hated myself. I hated my relationship. I hated my life. I was not comfortable with my skin. I wasn't confident. I was in a karmic energy. I was in a devilish energy. Like, I had so much guilt, so much shame, so much trauma that I'm like, oh, we're married. He does come home. He is with his daughter. You know, he shows up for holidays for like an hour, even though he's fucked up on Coke. You know, like, you know, I lived like that for freaking seven years. And then I just freaking had got fed up with it and started using drugs and I started using drugs and I'm like, oh, divorce, let's go. I mean, I can't do this no more. And no, I'm not on drugs right now if you're watching this, okay? I've been sober and clean for four years. Okay, five years, actually, almost five years. So, yeah. This this person, this karmic, and this, or this individual, doesn't have self-worth, isn't confident in, in themselves. They need someone or something in their life. So I really, really hope this does help somebody. Even if, if you know, you could be telling this person over and over, they're, like I said, this person's ignoring the signs and they're gonna continue ignoring the signs. And what I'm hearing is they're gonna actually hit rock bottom altogether. And that's when they, when they lose everything is when there could be a wake up call for them, okay? Losing their family, their kids, their job, their house, whatever it is, they may end up hit rock bottom. And that's when they're like, shit, what the fuck did I just do? Why did I just waste my life away? Why did I just pay all this stuff? Why did I do this? Someone may end up in jail because of it. They got caught up in situations. And them getting caught up in all these situations ends up, ends up, or they get up, uh, they end up in jail. And like, maybe that's the way to call. Like, damn, this person got me caught up. I got caught up. Now I don't have this, I don't have that. I lost my job because of this. My kids don't want to be around me anymore. My parents don't want to be around me anymore. My family don't want to be around me anymore. My friends don't want to be around me anymore. Like, I need to look at something. This person's not looking at it. I said they're living in la-la land, fantasy land. Daydreaming. It's okay to daydream, but when, like, you're ignoring things. This person could have had a lot of trauma, too. A lot of pain. Bad relationships in the past. 
you know, wasn't loved as a child, wasn't loved by another partner in the past. And so they don't know how to really love. There's gonna be a wake up call for this person. There's something about a wake up call. You know, I, I hit rough bottom and I still ignore signs for a long time. Finally I went to treatment and I'm like, well, changed my life after treatment. Someone may end up going to treatment because of it. I think it's all fun and games until you have nothing left. So I really, again, I hope this helps. Okay, I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.